Hi guys. I wrote a song for my math summative. It's called Trigonomic Love. I hope you enjoy it. Trigonomic Love! Hey man. What? What are you doing? I was just recording my math summative there. Right now you are? Yeah. Oh. Just interrupted it. My, my mistake. So I was, I was thinking, maybe you'll just lay down a beat you've never played before and I'll just freestyle it. You yeah, know? sure. You ready? <clears throat> yeah. All right. Course. Hey, what you got? What you got? I'm here to teach you some mathematical lore. This guy's presentation is on Unit 4. 4.1. Are you ready? Okay, here's the question. <clears throat> we know everything except angle C and side A. We can find angle C by subtracting 180 minus 57 plus 90. That'll give you 33 degrees. Once you know that, you can use cosine to find side A, which is approximately 6.1. Four point two and four point three combined. Are you all ready? The cubic circle has a radius of one. The initial arm is always fixed like a kilo over time. When the turtle arm rotates to the left, we know that theta is gonna be a positive. Huh. What you got? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Here we go. In between the terminal arm and x-axis, you'll find your reference angle with great ease. Primary trig ratio is sine, cos, and tan. They also got reciprocals waiting in the van. Remember the quadrant rule, C-A-S-T. It's a very useful tool in trigonometry. <laughs> Cast rule sheet, here we go, throw it down right now. As you can see here, C for cos in the fourth quadrant means only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. A for all, meaning all are positive in the first quadrant. S for sine, meaning that only sine is positive in the second quadrant. And T for tan, meaning only tan is positive in the third quadrant. Skip it for part four and go on right to four from five. Here we go, here we go. When you find trigonometric values and angles, you can use your calculator or special angles. Angles are with angles and angles too. Scooby pop up perfect every dip it if it do. Example time, folks. Put your shoes on. <clears throat> there are two special triangles. One of them is an angle 60 degrees. An angle 30 degrees and an angle 90 degrees. With sides 2, 1, and root 3. The other special triangle consists of two 45 degree angles and a 90 degree angle. With side length root 2, 1, and 1. 4.7. Here we go. This one's a beast. Yeah. Put on your boots and catch your bus Cause we're working on triangles that are big to us Throw this next verse on the other big A's I'm a whisper of little letters that you'll remember for days A, a is less than B sub A You ain't got no triangles to do today A is equal to B sub A You got one bump triangle today When B sub A is less than A is less than B You got two possibilities One acute and one obtuse Ha ha! That's what I'm looking for to pop. This one's for you, homie, here we go. What? What? Throw it down. Uh, yes, 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 yes. That's the one. Ha, ha. What, 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 what? Huh. Here we go. When A is greater or equal to B, you got one triangle, but up with G. When A is equal or less than B, you got no triangle, nanny with B. When A is greater than that of B, to strangle and now I gotta pee.
It appears that Eric just left. These are the triangles he was talking about. He talked about them in chronological order, just like the sheet. There you go, my friends. Hey, uh, yeah, where are your pickles? The confounded ones?